Hey guys, this is Red, and today I'm going to show you some of my Blu-rays, like all my Blu-rays that I have collected over the years. And yeah, I've been cleaning my room a lot, and it's still messy on this side. The other, the other room is really nice. So I'm going to start off with the ones I bought recently. Um, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This is season six. Oh, season five. Okay. Um, season six. And these were $5.99, and this was on Cyber Monday, I think. I bought them on Best Buy. This is Season 7. And I actually kind of got out of this series, but I used to really like it, and then I thought it got kind of weird and strange. They went in a weird direction. Oh my gosh. Okay, The Amazing Spider-Man. These used to be in order, but I have them all out, and I'm going to end up packing them in boxes. Um... I thought this one was really good, better than the original one that they had a couple years ago. This is off of a different comic, the Amazing Spider-Man comic. I uh, forgot how I want to put these after I show them. Uh, the Punisher, this is one of my first Blu-rays I bought. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I like Tom Jane. I don't like the other Punisher, the actor. I don't like that, that one at all. Hopefully you go back to him if they ever make another one. Prince of Persia, I only watched this once since I bought it again. Um, I saw it one time, and then I saw it um, once out of this Blu-ray. It's a pretty good movie. One of the better uh, video game series movies. Uh, we'll get into that later. Oh my god, these are all out of order. Uh, Saw 6. <laughs> um, yeah, I really enjoy the Saw movies. It's a really good horror movie. Compared to, like, some of them, these are, like, people that actually somewhat deserve to die, if you enjoy the series at all. It's pretty good. Uh, Predators. This is a really fun movie to watch. This is probably my favorite out of the Predator movies, because I didn't really like the other ones. They were kind of goofy and weird. The first one was okay. And then the second one was in New York, and it was weird. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of, of the Black Pearl. I haven't seen this for a while. This is a really good series. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Oh, uh, I didn't even open this one. National Treasure. I think this was just really cheap on a Black Friday. Or I got somewhere really cheap. I don't remember where I bought it, but I think this movie was okay. Haven't seen it for a while. It's pretty decent, I think. I think the second one I didn't like at all. Uh, Sauce... Five. This one's not even open, but I think I already have it on DVD. And for some reason, I wanted to get them all on Blu-ray, and they were really cheap. And so I started asking for these for Christmas. And I never opened this one, but I have the DVD version. And I've watched it a few times. Uh, this is the one that's sticky. This is Saw number one. And I don't know, I hate it when they put it on the side, because when you take that off... It gets sticky and there's like hair and stuff like on it, like when it fell on the floor once. Today it fell on the floor. I don't know why. It's an evil movie. It's pretty good. The first one's... I'm going to put it on the floor next to nothing so it doesn't get sticky all over the place. Like it messed up salt. This is a pretty fun action movie. And it has a pretty good twist at the end. I don't remember. I think it has a twist in it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Now I'll put that away from saw number one since it likes to stick to everything. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. I haven't seen this since I was a, a teen, I guess. I haven't seen this since I was like, I don't know, 13, 16. I can't remember. It It's a pretty good movie. One of the best military movies there are out there. And there you see Matt Damon, I think. Yep, Matt Damon. And he's pretty young there. Probably one of his first movies. Uh... Role Models. I got this uh, this past year. This is a really funny movie. Uh, the black kid in it is very vulgar in his language. <laughs> he's like a little kid, but he's like swears and s says F you and stuff to other people. It's whoops, really funny. Yeah. It just fell in the Saw movie, so Saw protected it. Um, This is The Rundown, which... I kept the case for the DVD because this is just a cool case. Full screen, remember that? Wide screen versus full screen. That whole tobacco. Uh, the box 
Michael. Oh, I'm not saying that right. But yeah, this is a fun movie too. This is what I think is the best rock movie. And the closest thing, if you actually pay attention to the story in this and everything, it's really close to being like an Uncharted movie. And that's the only reason why I wouldn't mind seeing Sean William Scott as like Nathan Drake in an Uncharted movie. Because he played so good. and He was playing such a good role in this movie. And he's funny. Nathan Drake's funny. He's funny. And he, this is like one of their best movies. Both of them. Okay. Oh, here we go with the Resident Evil. Um, yeah, I really got into the Resident Evil movies, and then after Afterlife, I really didn't. Like, Afterlife was pretty good. It could have been longer, and they could have had less slow-mo emotion uh, things. Extinction was really... I really liked Extinction. I know a lot of people hated Extinction, but if you go by the actual uh, video games, they've been becoming action-packed and everything else, so I don't know why they're like, oh, we don't like it because it's action. Well, yeah, these are action movies, and I liked Extinction a lot at the time. I'm not really into them too much anymore. Um, yeah, especially this one. This one is a still book. This is a really cool-looking still book. I don't know if I probably did an unboxing on it. It was like the first one of the first times I went to Walmart because Walmart exclusively had this and it's a pretty cool still book. Um, I haven't watched this one yet. I haven't watched the other Resident Evil animation movies. I heard these are better than the real life ones. The CGI is supposed to be really good in them. Uh, I got a couple doubles in my uh, movie collection. This is Batman Begins. This is the still book version. And I don't know if I use that. Oh my god, Dusty. That's because it was on top of these because I didn't want it to get messed up. Um, Dark Knight. There's uh, your main guy, Heath Ledger. He died. This is a Joker. And Dark Knight Rises. These are all still books, by the way. Um, I'm not taking that off because these are hard to get back on because they don't seem to stay on. It has all the stuff on it. And my Resident Evil one got messed up. That's only some of my movies. I still got more. Um, Red. This is a really fun action movie. And you should know there's a new one coming out. Or it is out. Haven't seen it yet. Want to. Uh, this I bought recently. It's Ocean's 12 and Ocean's 13. I've never seen the movies. I hope they're decent because... I don't know. I didn't pay much for it. Star Trek Into Darkness. I have the first one on DVD. And this is the second one. And I actually really enjoyed this one a lot. And yeah. This is the still book version. Came with a little spaceship. Um, Final Fantasy Advent Children. I think that's right. Yeah, Advent Children. It's a really fun thing. And this had like a sneak peek to Final Fantasy 13. And then a lot of people didn't like Final Fantasy 13. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put that? I'll put it there. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite movie of all time. The Fifth Element. It has the perfect mix of action, drama, and love, and comedy, and it's everything that you would ever want in a movie. And it has Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, and Mila Jovovich. And it even has, I think his name is, what is his name? Who's the black guy? I can't remember what his name is. Chris Tucker. As like a transvestite type of, I don't know what the hell you call him, he's weird looking in the movie and like ladies love him, he's a cross-dressing singer, yeah, I used to watch this when I was at college at least uh, a couple times a week, and that was my freshman year, I used to watch it like literally during the weekends, oh, I love this movie, I used to watch it all the time, and then when I came home I would watch it all the time, I'm in like love with this movie, I haven't watched it in probably three or four years now but that year that I got it I was watching it all the time and then I had to buy the blu-ray because Sony doesn't let you carry over movies from one PlayStation like it won't let you download it again that's what they told me I was like okay so I buy a movie for 10 bucks or 15 bucks on the PlayStation store but I can't like if I my PlayStation dies which I had a couple die 
I can't put it onto another PlayStation. That's the stupidest, that's the most stupid thing I ever heard. Okay, Fast Five. This is the still book. I actually really like these movies, but I really wish they wouldn't have cut out like the one part they're about to race for these cars. They cut the whole scene out of the movie. They just said, oh, you won. I was like, what the hell? We want some street racing, man. And I would love to see a street racing movie. And I think even the new Need for Speed movie is not going to be a street racing movie. So, it'd be nice if they had it, but they're good action movies. Uh, Fast and the Furious this is the fourth film, I believe. Yeah, fourth film. And this is a really fun movie. Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, I haven't opened this one, but I watched the second. I watched this second one a lot on my DVD version, and that was full screen, so it doesn't look as good on the HD TV. This one looks. It'll look pretty good. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Easy A, I got this when Borders was going out of business for pretty cheap. Um, it's a really funny movie with Emma Stone, the hot red-headed girl. Uh, Due Date, I haven't opened this, but I saw it once, and it's pretty funny. It has Zach Galifianakis and... What's his name? Robert... Robert Downing Jr.? Yeah, there you go. Robert Downing Jr., and yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay, Law Abiding Citizen. I don't remember what this was about, but yeah, I think it was pretty good. <laughs> How long ago this was, I have no idea. Let's see, 2000, it doesn't say. 2009, wow, this is really old. Yeah, I haven't seen this for a while. I saw it once through a rental, and that was it. Uh, Iron Man on Blue, right, and DVD. I probably haven't watched it off of this one a lot because. My parents have it, and I watched it a lot with my nephews, and it's it wasn't my version of it. So I didn't watch this this uh, one that I have now a lot. I've watched theirs many times, and the movie's kind of old now, but it's better than the second one. The third one's pretty good, but I like the first one the best. In Time. This is a really good movie, and it has Justin Timberlake in it. And this is a really, really, really good movie. And I can't believe Justin Timberlake is actually a good actor, because I think I saw one movie with him, and it was really, really, really shit. But this one's really good. The Incredible Hawk. I haven't watched this one forever. And this is the good one. The normal The Hawk movie, or Hawk, was terrible. The animations, everything. Ugh. The Hangover is a very funny movie. Um... If you haven't watched this, which I actually come across people who haven't ever seen this movie, you have to watch this movie. It is so funny. I, I don't know. I don't know how you don't how you haven't have ever watched this movie before. G.I. Joe: Rise of the Cobra. Uh, this is the good one. The second one is isn't as good because uh, I don't want to spoil it too much. But one of the main actors dies at the very beginning of the other movie, and I didn't like it. And then The Rock's the main character of like, the whole movie. This one's really good, though. Uh, Get Him to the Greek. This is a pretty funny movie. I haven't seen this in them years. <coughs> um, one of my favorite uh, movies relating to like video games and stuff. <coughs> Basically, when you... Uh, go to jail or go to prison or something they basically they have like um how do you explain that it's so awesome um you'll have gamers playing like they link up to the prison people and they control what you do and this is a really fun movie pretty interesting it's Gerard Butler he's really good He's in 300 also. Um, Futurama, I haven't opened up this season. This is season 6 on Blu-ray. Or volume 6. I don't know what they consider the season's volumes. This is uh, volume 5. And I also recently bought the other ones. Uh, I bought them for 6 bucks. And I don't understand why like they charge 3 times as much or 4 times as much 
for the Blu-ray versions. It's weird. So I just bought the DVD versions. Doomsday, for some reason, this movie's really sick and disgusting, but I like it. I don't know why I like it. Maybe it's because of that girl. I think she gets her head chopped off. Um, that uh, She's a bad guy. And this is the main character. Yeah, she gets... That's the one guy, the crazy guy that eats people's uh, girlfriend. It's a really good movie. There's a lot of cannibalism in the one part of it. But it's pretty decent. If you like action movies, you'll like it. Uh, Death Race, I bought this for a dollar or 99 cents or something. Uh, I never watched it yet. Um, I got another copy of Dark Knight. This is when it first came out. I bought it on just the normal. They didn't have Steelbook version of this uh, back then. They might have, but I didn't know about it. Uh, Dante's Inferno, this is the animated movie of it. I haven't watched this yet. That was when Borders was going out of business. Uh, Chain Reaction, this is one of the ones I got free with the PlayStation 3. When you first bought it, you got like five movies. This is one of the ones you could pick, and I chose that one. And I think it wasn't bad. Uh, the Avengers, haven't watched my version, I don't think, of it yet. But I've seen it a lot. It's on... TV sometimes and different things. Avatar, this is the only good 3D movie other than, oh, Resident Evil Afterlife. Watch that in 3D. I don't know if it's as good as what it was at the movies, but it was really, really, really good in the movies. Uh, Afterlife, that's the one. I, I really liked it in 3D. I didn't like it as much in not 3D because some of the stuff looked fake, but I think it's because they made it so that it would look 3D and it kind of looked more animated when you didn't watch it in 3D. So, it's a pretty good movie, though. Um, the one after that one, I can't remember what it is even called anymore. Retribution, I think. That one wasn't that good in 3D. It was terrible. Like, there, and like nothing, like, there, when this one, when the axe, the axe man, uh, I think that's what his name is, when he tosses his axe, it comes out of the screen and it comes at you. Blood splatters in your face. Like, it's cool. And in the newer one, they didn't do all that. Like, I know it's gimmicky, but do it. I don't know. It was fun. And they didn't do that. And it looked more animated because they didn't do much of that. So I don't understand why they even had 3D for this. But this is the best 3D movie. Um, yeah. This is a Triple Pack, AVP, Predator, and Commando. And I never watched Commando yet. But probably won't for a while. Until someone says, oh, you want to watch Commando? AVP is a really good movie. I bought this for three seventy six at Target. This is a uh, very Harold and Kumar Christmas. It's not as good as the other ones, and uh, yeah, even Pat, uh, Neil Patrick Harris is just like he comes out and he says he's gay, and then the one girl wanted to sleep with him, and she th said that that's it. yeah, it's pretty funny how they dealt with that. <laughs> um, this is my first Blu-ray. It's still. Is it still sealed? No, it's not sealed, but I never watched it. It's a PlayStation disc. Zombieland. Ugh. Uh, this is a really good movie. It's really funny. Probably the best zombie movie out there. Better than the Resident Evils. It's a really good movie. X-Men Wolverine Origin X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, this is a real this is probably the best X-Men movie ever. And I haven't seen the new Wolverine, so it'll probably be just as good as that one. Wind Talkers. You have to be in the mood for this movie. This is an emotional movie that made me cry. It'll probably make you cry too if you watch it. It's really, really good. Ultraviolet. I had this on DVD, and then eventually I got rid of the DVD, and then I got it again on Blu-ray. Never watched it yet. Um, this has Mila Jovovich in it. Uh, Tomb Raider. I have this on DVD full screen, so it doesn't look very good, but this will be a fun movie to rewatch. Terminator Salvation. I'm one of the few that actually liked this movie. A lot of people hated this movie. I don't know why. It was a good action movie. Christian Bale and... Uh, I forget what the other guy's name is. It's someone else. Tears of the Sun. This is a really good movie about Bruce Willis, who is a guy. He's he's him and his crew are saved. They actually go out of their way to save these this African these African people. 
It is a really good movie. I think it's based on a true story. If it's not, it's just a really awesome movie. And that one is pretty sad at the end, too. Swordfish. I don't remember if I watched this. I think I watched it once. I think it was okay. It was one of the free ones I got with the PlayStation. And at the time, these were like 20 or $30 movies. So you got three of these. It's I mean, five of these, that's $100 to $150, whatever it was. And this is another one, Stir of Echoes. I don't remember it at all. Star Trek uh, on Blu-ray. I didn't even know I had this one. I have a DVD version of this, too. That's weird. It's like a two-disc DVD. I don't know why I have that. I should probably sell it. <laughs> yeah, that one's unopened. Silent Hill. This is one of the best ever video game to movie render renditions. It's really, really good. And it's freaky. And everything about it is awesome. The second one was absolute crap. I hated it. Like, I fell asleep during watching it, too. And then I woke up, and then I finished it, and it was terrible. This one's really good. And don't watch them when you're drunk, because it takes away from the movies. <laughs> I tried to watch one of them drunk. Sherlock Holmes, the first one. It's a really, really good movie. Very long. Um, if you like Robert Downey Jr., you'll like it, because it's funny and good. This is one of the better movies of The Rock. This is a really, really good movie, The Scorpion King. And you get to see this uh, lady on the back, this Asian woman, almost pretty much naked. The hair covers her. And she's really, really hot. I, they made, they try to make more of these movies without The Rock and a different actor. I don't know why. It's so stupid. Because it probably would have been a really good movie with The Rock. I didn't want to watch them because um, they weren't even at the movies, I don't think. And I think they just straight to DVD, and they changed the actor, so I didn't bother with him. I don't really care. The Rock's a good actor. And, let's see. Oh, is this my final one? Oh. Here is what I got with the special edition of uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. And we got... I can't believe I'm ending on a Saw. Saw, the final chapter. I think this is the last one? I can't remember. And I also heard they're going to revive the whole series. They're working on another one. I don't know if this is the last one or not. I think it is. I think this is the final one, but yeah. It doesn't have a number, so I'm guessing that's the last one, maybe. So that is all my... Those are all my Blu-ray movies. I also got The Big Bang Theory uh, Season 6 on Blu-ray. I can't find it. But I wanted to, do, I wanted to show you them all before I pack them up and put them in a bin. So many bins. You want to see my bins? Look at my bins. Those are my games. Those are all my games. So many. So many games. It's not even funny. I don't know. My mustache looks funny right here. I, keep, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now it looks fine. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And see ya.